Hello and welcome to another video. We will be looking at the Watt Cycle 8 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery, 12.8 volts. And in my earlier videos, we did a discharge test on that 12 amp hour battery, which had really great results. So now we'll look at the smaller model and the spec sheet is the same as the other one except we'll be looking at the parameters on the left hand side so the differences here is the max charging current and discharge current is 8 amps um, and it's a bit smaller in dimension and obviously a little bit less capacity in terms of energy watt hours so 102.4 watt hours as compared to 153.6 watt hours and it's a bit lighter and as you can see, the cycle life is quite decent if you only discharge it um, to 80%. But we'll be emptying this entire thing out to see if we get the rated capacity. Okay, so um, here is my DIY 12 bar box, which I also featured on the channel not long ago. But it's received a few upgrades, and we'll quickly talk about the upgrades. So... Uh, previously, these USB ports were just being powered by a power bank inside the unit. Okay, and now I have added a voltmeter, a 12 volt accessory socket, and a little 3D printed plate says 12 volt and 8 amps max. And we turn it on and we see the voltage 13.8 volts. And yes, it is being powered by the watt cycle battery this time. There it is in an all its glory. And as you can see, there's a lot more wiring here. And uh, these were USB uh, cables, right? And they're plugged into a power bank. And in order to not swap these out, what I got was a, a buck converter somewhere hidden in there um, it's just a DC 5 volt to 12 volt buck converter a bit hard to get out but it's in there and that that just provided these two USB pigtails so it all works and we are fused here one main fuse 10 amps and uh, if you recall I was pairing the LED lights at the front here with a set of 10 AA batteries, but now that's wired into the 12 volt system with this watt cycle. We're going to use this watt meter, which is seen previously, and we're going to discharge it with the accessory, 12 volt accessory plug into a Delta 2 and see if we can get at least 102.3 watt hours. Is this what it was? Yep, 102.3 or 8 amp hours. All right, I'll set it up and I'll, I'll loop you back in. Okay, we are all wired in into the D, uh, into the solar input slash DC input. And it won't start until I turn on this. So I'll flick that on. So we're going to draw it at um, 6 amps, so we're at 5.99, which is pretty much 6, and it's about 73.9 watts. The voltage here is, is sagged from 13.8 to 12.6, which is normal. And let's see what it cycles through. Watts peak 73.3 and we've drawn 0 0.061 amp hours or 0.8 watt hours. So I will come back periodically and keep you updated. All right, an update. 12.4 volts on the watt cycle box. And the Delta 2 with 46.7 watt hours. Uh, wait till we get to the amp hours drawn. Come on, 3.855 amp hours. 
So we're almost halfway there. Okay, as you can see, the battery has died. 7.872 amp hours or 94.2 watt hours. It didn't make the 8 amp hours rated capacity. I'm going to have to check the documentation to see if there was a tolerance. One moment. Okay, so here's the documentation. Rated capacity. Where does it say that? Nominal capacity. 8 amp hours. Doesn't say plus or minus a certain number of amp hours. So yeah, that has failed the discharge test. Very interesting. Well, the, the 12 amp hour passed with flying colors. It exceeded it by one amp hour, I think. This one uh, was just under. So yeah, uh, perhaps uh, cycling this a few more times might bring it back up. But yeah, I'll be reaching out to what cycle um, for some feedback on that and see what they can do about it for me. Thank you, and I'll catch you in the next video.